Hello everyone, today I'm doing a review of this Moleskine Passion Travel Journal. So let's check it out. It is a large size Moleskine notebook, which means the size is 5 by 8 and a quarter inches or 13 by 21 centimeters. Alright, let's take a look at it. It has this imprint on the cover. It's kind of nice. Um, it's like an airport display of arrival, departure display, as you can see here. And then in the back, just a normal moleskin logo down there. It comes with elastic strap, just like every other moleskin. And then it actually has three bookmarks in here, which is kind of cool, in different colors. So there you go. And then it has a double pocket in the back, which is also a nice feature. So it's a little bit bigger pocket than a regular moleskin. And it comes with 202 of these stickers. It's also kind of a nice idea to customize this journal. So what the stickers look like. And yeah. So let's open it up just like any other moleskin. And here you can put in some personal information, some visas, credit card stuff. And then um, airline loyalty cards, all the card numbers. Then you have a checklist for what to pack. And then a calendar. I bought this a couple of years ago, so mine's from 2011 to 2018. And um, let's keep going. It has 240 pages, and uh, the pages are actually numbered on top of here, which is also something that I think is a pretty nice idea. And it goes on here, time zones, temperatures, different locations, airport codes, um, and then flight durations. Then this really random thing, words and names, anything from what a backpack is to Kilimanjaro. So I have no idea what this is supposed to be for. It's really strange and random. And then here it's um, divided into uh, 10 different sections. It has uh, five theme sections here, wish list, planning, weekends, short trips, long trips. And then back here, this last about a quarter, a little less, is five to tap sections that you can customize and actually has, I showed you the stickers for it that you could put on here and um, make that your own. So, uh, wish list, yeah, just put in, I don't know, it says names and notes here for destination, I guess where you want to go. There's a few pages of that. And then uh, planning where, when, who, what, and why. It's also a little bit random here, then you can budget here. And then uh, it keeps repeating itself on those two pages. Yeah, and then um, it starts with weekend trips. Let's check that out. So what that looks like is you have one double page here. This is the before. You can put in the destination date, how to get there, travel guide, travel companions, notes. And then uh, one page for a little bit of notes, and then you can put photos and clippings right here. And then it repeats itself on each double page. And it's about, I think about 30 pages of that. And then you have short trips back here. And you have a little bit of more room here again. The before section, how to get there, places, travel guide, travel companion and notes, and then a uh, checklist for this trip. A little bit more space here. And then memorable moments. Also now you have one page for each section instead of having it both on one page. So your moments and then for photos and clippings. And then again, it repeats itself over and over again. Also think for about 30 pages, page 98 to 134. Yeah, a little under 40 pages. And then you have long trips. Again, again, before, date, transport, travel, companions, travel guides, and a checklist. Get a whole page for the checklist. And then places, maps, and notes. 
and then memorable moments, a double page, and then a whole double page just for photos and clippings. And then again, this repeats itself over and over again. So this is for long trips where you have a little bit more room in the notebook. And this is also from page 134 to page 185. About a, yeah, so it's about 50 pages of that for long trips. And then back here you have the five tab sections here that you can customize however you want. And then back here, so room for photos and drawings. So there's a suggestion for that. And then some blank pages back here. And then also a little Nice feature is an index page where you can actually record um, the information that you put in there. Um, it has a typical 70 gram moleskin paper. And uh, yeah, my thoughts on this. Um, I didn't really like it, honestly. I find it too rigid. It's just really my personal opinion because um, I never know how much or how little I want to write on any given trip that I go on. So I've started using just a blank travel journal that actually I did a review on. So if you want to check that out, I'll go put a link down there. You can take a look at it. Um, I guess this is great for somebody who wants a lot of st structure in a notebook that tells you what to do, what to write in there. But for me personally, I want a little bit more liberty. I like the blank section back here. I like the little stickers that it comes with. And um, yeah, that has three bookmarks. I think that's a nice feature. But other than that, it's just, it just did not work for me. I stopped using it. I really like the Moleskine City Notebooks. I find those extremely useful. They're smaller format. They have a map in it. You can customize them more individually. So. Those are fantastic. Also did a review on those. Also going to put a link down in the description box. So if you're interested, go check it out. Yeah, that's just my two cents on the Moleskine Passion Travel Journal. If you like using this or dislike using this, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I really would like to hear from you. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you so much for watching.